Hey y'all, long time no see. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a travel nurse. Um, and right now I am on deployment in Arizona. And you know, usually, usually I kind of go, <laughs> I love fashion obviously, right? So like usually I kind of like uh, buy a few new items like every few months, every month actually. But um, yeah, it's been a little hard since you know, I try to, uh, I try to pack light. You know, so my suitcase won't be too heavy when I'm like traveling back and forth between here and like home and stuff. But nonetheless, um, you know, I bought a new few new items, a few new clothes. Um, they're really cute, and you know, I have like nobody else to talk to here, so <laughs> might as well just share with you guys, all right? So, um, yeah, here we go. Okay. So the first thing I got <clears throat> is from Shein. And it's funny because I actually never shop at Shein. Like I know people like rave about it, you know. I mean, I guess for every day it's okay, but I feel like I'm really not that big into like cheap fashion, you know. And that's not, that's not knocking anybody else, but I feel like once you've had like designer clothes and nice items, like I feel like it kind of ruins everything else for you. But this is nice for like every day, and um, it does go with a lot of stuff. And the quality is like actually pretty decent. Just that like this. Dress. It's just like this neutral dress. There you go. You can kind of see. It's just like this neutral kind of tan dress that you can wear every day. It's casual. Really good for wearing. Really nice and it's fitted. And then on the side, it has like a little ruching thingies. If you can see, so on the side you can like pull it and you know cinch yourself, make yourself look more curvy. Um, so it's more fitted to the body. Yeah, it's nice and stretchy. Nice stretchy material. Yeah, this is that. It's kind of hard to kind of get a like uh, a good gauge on what it actually looks like. So I actually have the same dress and I'm wearing it now. It's just that it's obviously patterned. So this is another thing I got from Shein. You can see, boom, boom. And you see the little uh, scrunchie at the side I was talking about. You can pull the tab and make it tighter and shorter, but I like the length that it's at. It has a little bit more jazz to it, so. Um, yeah, it's cute. It's cute, cute, cute. We like it. The shipping was fast too. I can't remember how much it was, but um, you know, it's Shein. It's not super expensive. <laughs> Switching gears. This is something that's like not as basic. I found I like to go shopping on a lot of like um, on a lot of Instagram boutiques. Love finding small fashion like businesses online on Instagram. It's like they have like a lot of really unique stuff that you don't find everywhere. So anyway, boom, baby. I feel like I wish it was like more buttoned. Let me show it to you guys buttoned up. All right, so to switch gears to something that's like kind of more um, out there, um, more attention getting. I also got this little cardigan. It's just, to me, it's really cute. I know not everybody likes feathers and stuff, but I love feathers. Um, these aren't feathers, but you know, it's kind of like that same, know, same lines. I love texture in the clothes that I wear. So this cardigan, and is from this um, smaller um, shop, new shop. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's new, but it's new to me. It's called Elsie and Fred. Um, and their stuff is, I don't know, I think it's just really cute. It's just really like out there, you know? It's really, I love wearing things that are bold. Um, bold, but yet like put together. Bold without being tacky. You know, you can see it has like the furry collar. You can even detach it actually. It has buttons here. Ooh, little buttons. So, you know, if you don't want to wear the furry, furry collar for whatever reason, you want a more toned down look, you can do that. It also has um, furry cuffs as well, and the cuffs are detachable as well, too, with little buttons. So, it's really cool. And it reads, protect your energy. That's what it says. So, you know, we're going to the new year, so, you know, you gotta protect your energy all 2022, and that's just on period. <laughs> Here's a picture of it. If you wanna see me wearing it. Yeah, I think it's really cute. And you know, it actually is really not hard to style, I think. It comes with a bottom. I could have sworn when I ordered this, the cardigan top, I could have sworn I ordered the matching bottom too, but I opened the bag and there was nothing in there. But it's really not hard to style. I actually wore it with, and you can see in the picture I just put up there, I actually wore it with just like a neutral um, pleather pair of pants. So um, it went really well. Obviously this is something that's kind of out there, so you don't wanna, you kinda wanna wear something uh, with it that's kind of more tamed, I guess to center the whole look, so it's cohesive. Um, 
I like it. I like the brand. Moving on. Also, my nails are atrocious. So don't judge me. I'm going to get them done today. I don't have time. I work a lot. Moving on to the next thing. Do -do -do. Again, horrible. You can't see the whole thing. So it's annoying. But I posted, like, you can kind of see in my picture, but not really because I'm squatting. But I got these really cute pair of, like, pleather, um, oh, shit. They're threading in the crotch. We're just gonna ignore that. I got these really cute pair of pleather trousers from Windsor. You know, Windsor store. Whatever. I actually wasn't even shopping for them really. Um, I think I was I was at the mall because I was looking for a dress for a date. And I went inside Windsor because, you know, they have a lot of cute dresses. And I saw it on the table. On the table just staring back at me. It's a pair of pants. They were staring at me and I was staring at them and I was staring at them and I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna try you on. And so I ended up getting them and they're really cute. This is what they look like. Um, this is the leg of it. You can kind of see it has a wider leg. Um, so it does kind of flare out slightly at the bottom and it's more fitted at the top, um, which is really nice. It's nice, it creates brick and nice silhouette. Um, it's fall, I mean, obviously in Arizona, it's like super, um, sunny out here i don't know i guess technically it's fall but it, you know it's not like real new england fall or like east coast fall but ooh, it's not like real east coast fall out here but um whatever nonetheless it's fall for me personally i'm petite i'm on the petite side so since it flares out at the bottom i do like to wear um heels with it just so um the whole uh outfit you know so i don't kind of drown in the fabric of the outfit and so it doesn't make me look shorter to the ground just to kind of give me a little bit of length and you know make me look a little bit you know elongated i guess and statuesque only bad thing that i've noticed i mean the you know windsor it's not like i was gonna say it's not the most expensive windsor is a little pricey and the, the quality is not like the best you know but they have cute things i'll give them that oh going back to the quality thing i just noticed that on this the crotch it's split. It's split. That's... Oh, you can't see it. Oh yeah, it's split. Which is annoying, but it's an easy fix, I guess. Um, but that's still annoying, and I just noticed that now. <laughs> Not like anyone's gonna see it, but it's just like knowing that I've only worn these like what? I've only worn these once, actually. Um, and I only wore them to take pictures. I didn't go anywhere with them. Um, so yeah, that's kind of annoying, but you know, they cute though. They cute. <laughs> last thing i haven't even taken any pictures in this and i'm really upset about it because i have an outfit in mind for how i want to style it but the boots that i bought um the calf was too narrow so they're at the shoe cobbler and they're trying to like fix my boots so i can like wear them because i have like muscular calves and yeah i'm like rambling <laughs> my point is mentioning the boots is that i want to wear them with this outfit but i can't yet that's why i haven't taken any pictures in them but I'll find a picture and I'll post it here, somewhere over here. Anyway, my last thing is from Storex. So this is it. Actually, technically it's it's two things. So I guess, you know, they call it a jump ball. A jump ball. I don't think they really can be called them jumpers in the US. It's a sweater. It's an oversized sweater. That's what it is. So you can see it's really big and that uh, it has like this oversized white shirt and the cuff kind of goes over you wear it the cuff goes over your hand like that so it kind of creates like this really cool like oversized look i love this look i love like this look for fall it's kind of like almost like academia you know because then you have the sweater vest and then just like the classic crisp white shirt um so it's nice you can style it with really a lot of things um i like i like it with a pair of like like i said kind of knee-high boots I'm small, right? I'm petite. I'm only 5'4". So, um, yeah, something like this. I It is very wearable, but you want to be careful not to... You want to be careful with your proportions and stuff like that. You don't want to get lost in the fabric. When I wear stuff like this, I opt to wear heels to give me some length um, so I don't look like I'm lost in the fabric, basically. I like the boots with it. I have not seen what the boots look like with it yet, but I have a pretty good idea. I think they'll look good. Um, but my boots only go up to the knee. I don't want anything over that because then it's gonna, you know, the little bit of uh, space that you have between the actual kind of like 
dress and your boots is what's gonna give you length. So sometimes people wear these really long dresses, especially when they're short. This is my pet peeve. When the girls are petite or short and they wear these really long dresses and then they wear these boots that come up and meet the dress in the middle. You're shrinking yourself. Um, and it's not, it, you're creating a silhouette that makes you look shorter than what you are. That's just a styling tip. When I wear stuff like this, I try to give myself a good amount of room on my thigh. Um, you know, so you can see some flesh. So it looks like I'm like longer. And then on top of that, you're wearing a heel. So you look longer and you don't look like you're being swallowed by all the material you're wearing since you have a shorter torso. I'm doing like a, a haul and I'm giving you guys fashion tips and doing it all today. So anyway, I just wanted to share what I got. And yeah, I hope you guys liked um, everything. And if you didn't, then you know, I guess too bad because I like it. I'm just sharing. <laughs> it's not the point. I'm gonna leave, but you know, but if you guys wanna check out some of the, the, the uh, if you want the links to the stuff that I got, I'll leave it down below. If you want the link to Elsie and Fred, because I feel like most of these other stores are pretty well known stores. It's, it's, you know, it, I guess it's not as like commercialized and big as a store like H&M or whatever, but they have a pretty decent following online. But, you know, if you, want that link or their Instagram handle or whatever, I'll leave it down in my description box so you guys can follow it. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. <laughs>